Hello everyone. In this INR number 96, we are going to discuss about a very important PYQ that is called trachoma and you can see this question in your tomorrow's exam also. So what is trachoma? Trachoma is a Egyptian ophthalmia. It is a chronic conjunctivitis which is caused by chlamydia trachomatis and serotype is A to C. So this can be remembered by a mnemonic called as trachoma. This name itself is a mnemonic. If you make it larger, you can see trachoma A to C. So serotype is A to C, which is going to cause this trachoma conjunctivitis. How it will be transmitted? It is transmitted by direct contact. Direct contact with fomites, fly or finger. So now you can see trachoma eye is spreading to the healthy eye with the help of fly number one number two the fingers and number three fomites all right so now you understand 3f fly fingers and fomites will be transmitting the trachoma right and what will be the clinical finding torsum torsal will be having follicular uh, reaction and torsal follicles will be more than five millimeter if torsal follicle is more than five millimeter remember it will be seen only in the trachoma only in the trachoma follicle size is more than five millimeter and they will have herbert pits so what is herbert pits these are scarred limbal follicles so now you can see here there are some uh, you know circular structure on the limbus so these are the scarred <coughs> limbal follicles right so these are the herbert bits Th second is arl's line arl's line is conjunctival scarring right so if you look at this conjunctiva you can see this conjunctiva is showing you the whitish color so this is the scarring area so this looks like a line arl's line is a conjunctival scarring seen on the upper tarsal conjunctiva third is entropion what is entropion it is inward folding of the eyelid remember eyelid so inward folding so you can see there is a inward folding of the eyelid so this inward folding of the eyelid is called as entropion trichiasis right so what is trichiasis ingrown eyelashes so you can see ingrown eyelashes you can see some of the uh, eyelashes are growing inside that is called as trichiasis ingrown eyelashes and then panas Panis is a corneal vascularization. So you can see that vascularity is very high at this area. So this corneal vascularization is called as panis formation. And if you look at very carefully, carefully you can see uh, at the end of the panis, you can notice there is a Herbert pits also. You, you can see these are all Herbert pits. This is circular scarred structure at the limbus, right? So these are Herbert pits, right? And then blindness is because of corneal opacity remember this is the corneal opacity and because of this patient will be having blindness right so these are important points about the clinical findings which you will see in the trachoma patient herbert pitts arl's line trichiasis entropion panas and finally corneal opacity which is causing blindness into this patient right who uh, uh, classification of trachoma they have included the uh, symptoms by a mnemonic called as fisto right so fisto means trachomatous follicles i is inflammation which is intense s is scarring trichiasis opacity which will be causing corneal opacity and the blindness right so what are the follicles follicles will be as i said five or more follicles and at least 0.5 millimeter in diameter and it will be present on upper tarsal plate right so that is what we can see here so this is called f trachomatous follicles second is intense inflammation intense inflammation means follicles and papillae are more than 50 percent of the palpebral conjunctiva and you cannot see the blood vessels clearly right so you can see if more than 50 percent of the conjunctiva will be having follicles that is the intense inflammation scarring scarring means tarsal conjunctival cicatrization will be seen with white fibrous band so you can see here you can notice there is a scarring right then trachomatous trichiasis right so one trichiatic eyelashes at least it should be present so you, you can see that there is a inward folding of the eyelashes are there so that is trichiatic eyelash right and after that because of the trichiasis because of the rubbing there will be corneal opacity so corneal opacity covering the part of pupillary region right so that will be the corneal opacity which will be covering the part of pupillary region so these are fisto of the trachoma right when you uh, have to diagnose the trachoma you have to use three important investigations pcr mccoy cell cultures and gymsa staining so these are the three things pcr mccoy cell culture gymsa pcr why we do we want to find the genetic material which is the dna of the chlamydia bacteria number one 
so that will help in so polymerase chain reaction will help us to identify dna of the chlamydia which will confirm the diagnosis then we can use macquoy cell culture so macquoy cell culture what you are going to see you will be seeing chlamydia trachomatis inclusion body right so you can see these are brown tr chlamydia trachomatis inclusion bodies and these are called as intra these are called as intracytoplasmic inclusion body right so that intracytoplasmic inclusion body you can see by gymsa staining right so when we will apply with gymsa stain we will see the intracytoplasmic inclusion body that was a pyq so what is the name of in intra intracytoplasmic inclusion body halberstadter provazek inclusion body so halberstadter provazek inclusion bodies are seen in trachoma and where it is present it is present inside the cytoplasm so now you can see this is the cell and this is the nucleus so in this you can see there is a purple color right purple color inclusion is present so this is called as halberstadter provazek body again i repeat this purple inclusion which is present inside this cytoplasm is called as halberstadter provazek body and this staining is gymsa stain so this is how we will confirm the diagnosis of the trachoma by using pcr macquoy cell culture and gymsa staining what will be the treatment and prevention this is also a pyq examiner they ask about their that full form of the safe strategy so who has decided that to prevent the trachoma induced blindness we will follow safe strategies so what is safe strategies s for surgery a for antibiotics f for facial cleanliness e is for environmental improvements so they, these are the four things remember s for surgery a for antibiotics f for facial cleanliness and e is for environmental improvements right so these are the four important things which are included in safe strategy surgery is to treat blinding stages of the trachoma like a trichiasis or entropion and a is antibiotic so in this we will be using two important antibiotics to treat the active uh, chlamydial infection one is azithromycin which is a drug of choice azithromycin is drug of choice and we can also use tetracycline ointment right facial cleanliness we will be teaching the communities to importance of facial cleanliness now facial washing see this guy is washing his face to avoid the trachoma right and e is environmental improvements right so environmental improvement is why we have to in, uh, you know improve the environment because it will reduce the exposure it will prevent the reinfection and it will be also it will be also focusing on improving the hygienic water and sanitation right so this is very important because it is a water borne disease so controlling disease is spreading flies because they are coming from there and properly disposing of the waste material or rubbish so this is how you have to clean the environment water sanitation right to avoid the disease spreading flies we have to control them and then properly disposing the rubbish so these are important point about the treatment of the trachoma so keep revising these topics best wishes for your exams